My name is uh, Nazar Barakat. Uh, I'm the owner of the place. Uh, me and my cousin own this place, uh, and we started it like uh, 10 years ago. Uh, we thought uh, uh, to establish a, a nice uh, food establishment that represent uh, our culture, basically, uh, a true representation. We find few restaurants in town. They were kind of small and, and not the way we wanted to present our uh, culture and our food here and we thought uh, to start something like this would be great since I have the, the restaurant background and uh, my cousin is uh, the management background so we thought we make a very good team and evidently we did, we've been here for 10 years. <laughs> Originally, I'm, I was born in Jerusalem, I'm Palestinian. Uh, I've been in the States for 25 years, uh, so is my cousin too, my partner. We are strictly a Middle Eastern restaurant. We do uh, very authentic food the same way it's done uh, overseas. Uh, we're East Mediterranean, uh, and we try as much as possible uh, to do our dishes the same way it's done uh, overseas, basically, to achieve that uh, authenticity. Our specialty is uh, lamb. Lamb is its uh, most popular dish uh, for main course, of course, in, in our area. So we do a variety of lamb dishes. And uh, uh, our cuisine is very popular in, uh, uh, also in the vegetarian selection. Uh, so we have a lot of vegetarian dishes, like hummus is one of our most popular uh, appetizer, uh, falafel, uh, baba ganoush, then we have excuse me, a uh, tabbouleh salad that's very popular too. Again, uh, uh, the, the vegetarian dishes is, is all made 100% from vegetables. There's no, no butter, there's no meat stock. There's, uh, uh, so it's strictly vegetarian when we have anything on the menu that says vegetarian. I welcome you to our kitchen. First thing I would like to introduce our uh, chef, Imad Barakat. He's my cousin too. He's a great chef. We make the best food in town. Uh, today we're gonna do for uh, main course uh, our uh, ever popular lamb chops. It's the most popular uh, entree in our uh, menu. And uh, the way we do the lamb chops, uh, we cut them uh, small portions, two ounces each, and the portion is uh, three pieces. Uh, he had them uh, cut and marinated in our own uh, special spices. Uh, we're gonna, of course, uh, grill the lamb chops uh, to start. Uh, while they're grilling, uh, we're gonna talk about our appetizers. Uh, so why don't you go ahead and uh, start grilling your uh, chops, Chef Imad. It's all uh, trimmed, There's just a little bit of fat around it just to give it that uh, extra flavor we're looking for. And uh, as we talked about, uh, the appetizers earlier. Uh, one of the most popular appetizer we have is the hummus. Hummus is the chickpeas that's uh, cooked for a long time till it's really tender, pureed, mixed with the tahini sauce, lemon juice. Tahini sauce is a sesame seed paste that's so popular and very Middle Eastern. Uh, a touch of garlic and uh, our chef's special spices. Uh, the way he spread uh, the hummus, the uh, dip, if you want to call it, in the plate, uh, decorated with the sumac, which is a, a dry berry spice that's uh, not sharp, but it's a little bit of uh, a little bit lemony. Uh, Use the decorate decoration. Uh, we have uh, pickles and pickled turnips, uh, some chopped tomatoes. That's basically what we have. Uh, the first appetizer. Uh, second one is baba ganoush. Uh, this is very very popular that's made out of baked eggplant. 
uh, baked in the oven for uh, almost an hour and a half. Uh, and then it's uh, pureed, uh, again mixed with uh, our spices uh, and tahini sauce, topped with 100% uh, uh, virgin olive oil. That's uh, so healthy for you. That's why uh, this is a very popular uh, dish. And it's, uh, again, it's 100% vegetarian. So it's very attractive to a lot of our uh, east side uh, diners. Uh, grape leaves, this is another uh, appetizer entree that's uh, very popular and can be like two versions. What we have is the vegetarian version. Grape leaves that's basically filled with rice, uh, a little bit of spices, some chopped veggies with the rice. It's rolled up and it's all assembled in a tray cooked in a lemony sauce in the oven for like an hour and a half. And the outcome is really delicious. Shawarma is uh, very close the way it looks to the Greek gyro, but it's co it prepared completely different. We make it here in the house. We slice the meat very, very thin. Uh, this one happened to be lamb. We slice it very thin. We put our own spices on it. We marinate it for 24 hours. Of course, I'm not gonna tell you all the spices. It's a little bit of a secret there. Uh, you know, we had a lot of new customers that for the first time they ever walked to a Middle Eastern establishment. And um, if we were lucky enough uh, to know that, that that was their first time, then one of us will go to the table and explain everything to them and recommend a few things. We get all range of customers, of course, uh, uh, our location in the east side. The east side is very diverse, as you know, in Milwaukee is the most diverse probably a, a side of town or area here. We get people from all walks of life, different um, backgrounds, different nationalities. Uh, we're very popular in the east side. People like us a lot. You know, uh, as I said, uh, our restaurant been here for 10 years. Uh, uh, this uh, business is owned uh, and operated by our family. Uh, me and my cousin, we're in the front, and uh, my, my other cousin and my brother, they're in the back. Uh, our kids are in, you know, in, in the service. Uh, uh, we take a lot of pride in what we do. Uh, we do everything from scratch, so uh, everything is 100% assured it's fresh and healthy. Um, we have an excellent service, uh, and basically uh, we'd love for anybody who never tried our food, uh, we love to invite them uh, and so they can try uh, and see our food and part of, uh, of our culture.